know about God is that God hears you no matter where you are. Amen. You could be down in the pits of hell and God could still hear you because God is everywhere at the same time. Amen. And God has encouraged us to pray. Men ought to always pray and not to faint. Amen. Prayer is so significant that Jesus Christ himself prayed. Amen. He went to the garden. Amen. He prayed, Lord, let this cup pass. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. Amen. And then that's another important thing for us to remember about prayer. Amen. A lot of times we can be praying for stuff, Mary, that we don't even need. Amen. We be praying, Lord, bless me with a new TV. Or Lord, bless me with a new pair of shoes. Or Lord, bless me with a new, uh, brand new watch. Or Lord, bless me. You know, we just be praying for all these selfish prayers. But God wants us to pray for one another. Somebody say, pray for somebody else. Pray for somebody else. Pray for somebody else. Amen. The Bible says in Job that. Y'all know the story of Job, right? Job was the man in the Bible that had uh, the devil came and, and tempted Job and took away everything that he had, all his riches, all his family, all his cattle, amen, and then he even touched his body and made Job sick. Job was sick almost unto death, amen? Y'all know the story of Job, right? He was so, so sick that the flesh was falling from his bones, amen, and he was in grief and he was going through, amen, and he kept saying, God, why do I have to go through this? Why me, Lord? What did I do to deserve such a terrible fate? But what Job didn't know is that the devil had petitioned God and asked God. He said, hey, uh, how about you let me touch his body? You let me touch his body, I guarantee you he'll curse you, God, to your face. And God knew the heart of Job. God said, you can touch his body, but don't take his life. You can, sometimes God will let you go through things so that he can show you how powerful he is. Y'all hear me? These trials and tribulations that we're going through, they're just a test. Y'all hear what I'm saying? It's just a test. God wants to test your faith. How much do you believe in him? How much do you trust him? How much do you rely upon him? God tests us all the time. And different people have different levels of faith. You know, your faith might be stronger than my faith. Amen. But that's all right. No matter where your faith is, God's got a test for you. <laughs> no matter what level you are, he got a test for your level. Remember in school when you had different types of tests? You wouldn't take a sixth grade test for a first grader, right? But everybody had a test to go through in school, right? Well, that's how God is. Everybody's got to go through a test. Everybody's got to have a trial or a tribulation in their life because that's God's way of showing up and showing out. Y'all hear what I'm saying? That's God's way of saying, hey, look, I got you. <laughs> that's how the young folks say, hey, I got you. I got you coming. Don't worry about it. Amen? Amen. So, so the Bible says that that when Job began to pray for his friends, amen. the Bible says, in, Amen. Let me read it. Amen. amen. Job, uh, the Bible says, when Job prayed for his friends, that's when things began to change. How many of y'all know you need to pray for somebody else? Amen. Job 42 and 10 says, And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Right. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Y'all hear what I said? That's the word of God. I didn't make it up. That's why I wanted to read it. Amen. God gave Job twice as much as he had before. Now, now you be thinking you're all right, right? You be thinking, oh, okay, I got this and I got that and I'm doing good. And then you begin to go through a trial and a tribulation. All so that God can come out and give you a double blessing. Somebody say double for your trouble. Double for your trouble. Yeah, double for your trouble. God will give you double for the trouble that you got to go through in order to show that you believe and trust in him. Amen. Anybody trust in him today? Anybody believe in him today? My faith is a firm, firmly planted in God. Amen. How about you? Is your faith firmly planted in God? Can anybody get you to say, I don't believe in God? Can anybody get you to say that? Can anybody get you to say that? No. You know why? Because we call upon the name of the Lord and we were saved. <laughs> anybody called on the name of the Lord and he did something to you, something on the inside started moving and happened on the outside. 
Amen. And you're not the same creature no more. Any man being Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things are new. Amen. That's something to be excited about. God has an opportunity to do something new for you every day. The Bible says in Lamentations, every morning, new mercies I see. Every morning we wake up, be new mercies. Every morning we wake up, sweetheart, it's a new mercy. It's a new opportunity for God to do something in our lives. And even if he don't do nothing great, he just woke us up. That was great. Come on, somebody. He just woke us up. That was great. But somebody didn't wake up this morning. Somebody didn't wake up cold in their right mind. Somebody couldn't, didn't know where they were. But God allowed you and I to wake up. You know where you are. You, you, you're around people that take.